Hello everybody and welcome back to the Undertale Genocide Run. If you clicked on this video, it means you've enjoyed my pain thus far. So, let's continue the heartbreak. As usual, it is very, very quiet. I can't remember, was there music in this area originally? I think there was. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh, that's right. This is where we get the tutu. There's a camera. Oh, wait, no. The tutu's up top. My bad. That was just Alphys being a little looky-loo. Hello, tutu. Death by ballerina. Add insult to injury. Equip the old tutu. Uh, did I have armor on before? Okay, yeah, I'll just get rid of that later. Oh, wait, there's a box over here. Dear. Use the box. Yes. Kablam, and... Let's get rid of this stick, too. I don't know why we're still holding that. Onwards to adventure! Heart's breaking adventure. Ooh, speaking of which... Hi, Undyne. I was not prepared for your voice. Shit. My poor throat. Oh. That's... That's a little sad. In its own way. Alright. Oh shit. It wasn't me! I didn't do it! I did not kill your adorable and beloved trainee. Just back away. Back away. Go on, do your thing. We're good. No need for vengeance. God damn it, Monster Kid. Yo! Did you just see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! No, it wasn't. She's one of the hardest bosses of the game. That was not cool. I'm so jealous. You can take my place, buddy. She was just standing there waiting forever, and then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, you poor, adorable, naive fool. 18 left. Soulless as always. Oh. The puzzle's already done, okay. Oh, that reminds me, I think a lot of these puzzles- Oh, shit. Aaron flexes in. But yeah, I think a lot of these puzzles are being done by Flowey, because before- when Papyrus's puzzles were already done for us, it said that vines were pressing the switches down. So I think that was our hint that I really should have picked up on when I first saw it. Alright, Aaron. I'm sorry, but... Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to tap it now. Education? Hobby? Talent? Flexing's a hobby. It looks like you work out. That's something. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. I am too. I'm extremely jealous. For I have a desk job. And I'm soft and pudgy. Phew! I'm sweating. Gross. That's gross, Aaron. You don't sweat on people you just meet. I mean, granted, I'm trying to kill you. Aaron's muscles droop comically. Oh... <laughs> uh... Ah, uh, you won. You're in 52 gold and 25... Or, 52 experience and 25 gold. Your love increased. Well, at least I have that little bit of enjoyment. Did he say anything different? It's strangely silent. Strangely silent. Strangely silent. Hmm. Washua shuffles up. Aw, man, I gotta kill Washua. He's so cute. He's got a little rubber ducky. Well, regardless, time to die. Your soul is unclean. Tweet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Eh. Just stay near the edges. We'll be good. All right, Washua. Down you go. Well, it looks like Washua is all washed up. Ha <laughs> I'm dying inside. Look through the telescope, eh? Yes. 
Purdy stars. Check wall. Can do. Aw, we don't get the little thingy. I think that was in a different spot, though. Now that I think about it. I'm sailing away. Well, that was a short trip. Did I make that same exact joke last run? Huh, I feel like I did. Oh no, I just realized where we are. Shit! Run! Run! She has more motivation to kill us now! No, no, no! Fuck. Run away! I want to live. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, the longer this takes, the faster she goes. God damn it, Undyne. I don't care if you're one of my favorite characters. Killing me. Yeah, quite literally. Stomp, 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 stomp. Ah, well, at least the tension in this scene is gone. And... Monster Kid! I just realized, is she picking him up by the eyeball? My god, she's on a quest for her missing eye. So that was your true motivation all along, eh? I'm on to you. Yo! Did you see that? Undyne just... touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Gross. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, I'd be dead. Horribly dead. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I'm gonna have to kill you. You're cute. A little annoying, but cute. What do you say? Strangely silent. Sixteen left. Aight. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. It's strangely silent. <gasps> it doesn't even mimic the mouse anymore. Well, that's disheartening. Okay, does this thing still give us the... Oh, we can't engage in any whimsy. That's unfortunate. Ice Cream Man's gone. Why am I surprised by these things? We're on a murder spree. Well, at least this room still looks cool. Hi, duck. Well! You know, this place used to be very beautiful, but with the disturbing music, it's just very... Uh, disturbing. Very scurry. Oh, did you notice the exclamation mark cha The exclamation mark changed? It's like Flowey's little TV face now. You walk into Mold Small. Goodbye, Mold Small. Sexy wiggle. <laughs> Even in the face of adversary, adversity, Mold Small stays sexy. We don't get onion son, do we? Okay, well, of all the whimsical things that we can miss out on, I'm kind of happy it's this one. Onion Sun freaks me out. Hello, Shiren. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Well. And ain't over to the fat lady sings. Oh. Shiren's voice gets raspy. Yeah, It's a weird fish thing. I don't even know what that was. Uh, oh yeah, I figured out later on uh, that Shiren was like the fourth... Fourth? Fourth ghost. So yeah, that's interesting. Take an umbrella? Why, yes. Hmm. Do you think we'll still be able to visit the Tem shop? Yo, you got an umbrella? No. Oh, 
awesome. Uh, let's go. You know, you annoy me a little bit. Still, it's going to be a shame when you go. It's weird how, how well he mimics me. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, wouldn't it be were? I would wet the bed every night. I do, but for different reasons. <laughs> Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where he had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call it... Oh, this is all the same dialogue. I'll just skip it. Whatever. Yes, yes, you're adorable and everyone loves you. Slash hates you. I'm sure she wouldn't beat up the teachers. Well, maybe not so sure. I'm pretty sure she would, actually. This is no time for whimsy. Wow, I was not expecting that to work. Okay. Return the umbrella? Eh, sure. You'll return the umbrella. Hooray! Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm... Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Ow! Yo, try being a little less rough. <laughs> anyway, I'll look for another way through. Later. I'll miss you. Kind of. Thirteen left. I hate it when they're the annoying kind of cute, because then I feel very conflicted. And Undyne Encounter Numero Trace. Well, at least now I know the trick to it. Just follow, uh... Jesus. Just follow the path she's on. Easy enough. <laughs> you scare me no longer, fish lady. Well, you know, until your boss fight comes up, then I'm going to be pissing myself. As established earlier. Oh, nope. Follow her path, follow her path. Eh. Nope. Okay, down this way. Alright, we got it. We got it. Halfway there. Whoa. Oh. Well, at least my health was full this time. Hooray! I'm not dead. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Calm your fish tits. I want to live. Nah, nah. Uh -uh. Nope. Nada. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that was easy. Uh, how long do I have to wait again? Okay, I'll just go back. Um, Undyne, I believe you're supposed to be trying to kill me. Oh, there you are, you're just late. How dare you be late for an execution? Not a single change in expression. That's very impressive. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh. You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here. Get up. Jerf, huh? God damn, I regret that name. That's a nice name. No, it's not. <laughs> My name is... Slim Shady, was that you? Again, pretty sure I made that joke in the last run. Damn it. Curse my predictable speech patterns. Curse them! 30 left. I need to start finding some more enemies. I think there's a good grind spot nearby, though. It was like right before Temi Village. <gasps> Wait, do we still get the honk of despair? You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. 
<laughs> uh, wonderful. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Why, yes. You got the astronaut food. Hooray. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Yes. I'm pure evil, don't you know? You punch the dummy at full force. Feels good. It does. Wait for it. And... Yay, my dummy! You have one of my favorite boss themes. Ah, oh, shit. I don't remember your voice. Um... <coughs> <coughs> and I'm dying. <coughs> <coughs> Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am the ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until... You came along. Not only did your actions cause him to leave their home, cause them to leave their home, but now all of their neighbors are gone too. Despicable, despicable, despicable. You're the worst person I've ever met. I've never been more mad. <sighs> My mannequin levels are going off the charts. Oh. Huh? This... this feeling. Eureka! 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 Human, that moment of unbridled emotion. It allowed me to finally fuse with my body. I'm fully corporeal now. My lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stomp you. How's that sound? Glad Dummy lets you go. Aw, oh, and even changed the name. Regardless, you must die. Huh, so I guess you can kill a ghost, you just gotta make it corporeal. That was uneventful. Twelve left. Uh, probably don't want to be hanging around here. Moving along. Mm. I don't think there's really... Anything here of interest for us anymore? All the residents have a gone. Okay. Okay, you're still here. Ha! <laughs> so you came here. What a treat. Let's talk. Really? You want to chat? Uh, fate? Uh... Oh, shoot. That actually was a different dialogue. Uh, let's go to it. Okay, fate. Sorry. Long ago, Asgore and I agreed that escaping would be pointless. Since we... Since once we... Uh, since once we left, humans would just kill us. I felt a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind. But now... Oh, that's not the voice I had for you at all. It was more goofy. But now, I think, maybe he was right to... Cause, a Cause after all, even even though we never escaped, a human's killing us anyway. Ain't that right? Well, you have a good attitude about this. Threat. I've lived too I've lived too long to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't hear. Ha <laughs> ha! Knowledge like that is w uh, knowledge like that is the one. Uh, Knowledge like that is the only reason I've survived so long. Well, I think it's partially because you're a turtle. Also, I'm getting texts. Are they angry texts? Nope. They're not angry. Fight. Eh, fight you? Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. And besides, these old bones ain't fit for fighting anywho. One attack from you, then I'd, well, at least by attacking you, I've brought, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. Oh, you clever devil. Hero. I'm not a hero, but I know there's someone out there. Someone who will never give up trying to do the right thing, no matter what. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know is true. That someone like that will strike you down. Well, can I buy things from you? Don't expect a discount. Uh, you know what? I think we're good, actually. I think we're good.
Good riddance. You are a very rude old man. Eh, rightfully so. Okay, here we go. Special enemy Temmie appears to defeat you. <laughs> Yay! Oh no, I have to kill Temmie. It's like I'm really happy to see Temmie, but I also have to kill Temmie. Whoa. That was really disappointing. And sad. Can we go back to killing freaking Jerry? Can we go back to him? I don't mind killing him. You walk into Mold Small. Well, Mold Small, yeah, you know. Your sexy wiggles won't save you today. Mold Small is very normal. Okay. Roar! Whoa! Hey, that's a big bitch. Huh. Mold Big has it has seen better days. Okay, interesting. I haven't seen you in this part of the game before. You won 49 EXP and 33 gold. How are we doing on gold overall? 1629, not bad. There we go. Take that gelatin. Hey, my love increased. Anyone in Temmie Village? Oh god. The music. Oh, that's disturbing. Hello, Temmie. Feeling of being watched. Statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. You're actually still here? Uh-huh. <gasps> I can't send you to college. Can I? Talk? About yourself? Hoi, I'm Temmie. I... Oh, I can't send you to call... Oh, I, I guess having the Temi armor in this run would be a little overkill. Just a little bit. Ugh, the music, though. Five left. Alright, well, I'll just... I'll, I'll just grind a little. I'm cool with that. Ba-da-boom, boom, boom. Not a one becomes the dust. Oh no. No 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 Here we go. Hooray! I figured it out. Behind you. Oh, that's right. Hi Undyne. Please don't hurt me. Dots. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Dots. Understand, human. This is your only chance of redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. But wouldn't you have to tear it from my body either way? I'm dying! I'll help you fight! You got a better sense of what's going on now? Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to see her fight! Wah, 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 wah. Wait. Uh, who's she fighting? He squeaks! Hey! hey. Uh, you're not gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Well, that was cute. Ooh, we can go up. It's strangely silent. It's strangely silent. It's strangely silent. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's the same for all of them. Determination. Oh, I guess we got them all. Really? Well. Huh. I felt like I was missing one. Eh, I guess not. Yo! 
Hello, monster kid. Again, still conflicted on how I feel about killing you. Yo. Undyne told me to stay away from you. Uh, she said you... You hurt a lot of people. Yes, I have hurt quite a few people. Dots. But, yo, that that's not true, right? Do you not see the dust that I'm covered in? Don't you get allergies around me or something? It, yo, why won't you answer me? I, I was kind of questioning whether or not I actually answered anyone, to be fair. And what's with the weird expression? That's my question. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, man. Man, my heart's pounding out of my chest. What, what would Undyne do? Dots? Yeah, she'd probably do a few dots first. Uh, yo. Y you better stop right where you are. Because if you want to hurt anyone else, y you're... You're going to have to get through me first. A and... And... In my way. There's a disturbing bit of dialogue I want you all to see. Monster Kid, two attack, two defense. Looks like free EXP. Dots. Monster Kid quivers anxiously. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> nice save. Also, damn, you took my kill. Uh, Undyne, you're, you're... hurt. Hurt? <laughs> it's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Uh, Undyne, I... I'll take care of this. Get out of here! Oh, boy. <laughs> it's nothing. No. S somehow... With, with just one hit. I'm already... Already... D damn it. Papyrus. Alphys. Asgore. Just like that, I... I failed you. Oh, Jesus. No. My body, it feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instant, I'll scatter into a million pieces. But, deep, deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll... You'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters, humans, everyone. Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams vanquished in an instant. But I won't let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world. I can feel their hearts beating as one. Whoa, her eyes changed. Well, I. And we all have one goal. To defeat you. Human. No. Whatever you are. For the sake of the whole world. I. Undyne. Will strike you down. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is the big one, folks. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. The heroine appears. Oh damn, the eye patch is off. Oh guys, I am so dead. You have no idea. Oh god, I'm so screwed. Undying the Undying. Also, can we comment on how badass her music is? Okay guys, there are two main bosses in this playthrough, and this is one of them. This is a big one. As you can see. Okay, starting off easy, thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> I knew it couldn't have been that easy. The wind is howling. I... Okay, I would like to, uh... I'd like to call a friend. Uh... I probably should have bought items. Shit. You ate the snowman piece. Your HP was maxed out. Eh, 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 Hey! Well, it was an easy one, to be fair. Jesus. Oh 
my god, it's like DDR an expert. <laughs> I'ma die. I'ma die a lot. I can feel it. I'm gonna eat the pie. HP was maxed out, thank god. Okay, so when I inevitably die to Undying the Undying here, um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is buy a shit ton of items. The wind is howling. Oh, right in the center, good. Oh, that didn't do too much more, though. Mm. Okay, well, this is the easiest one to dodge, at the very least. Gives me a little bit of reprieve. The wind is howling. Okay, close to the center. I can deal with that. Eh, eh, Oh, God, they turn red randomly now? Jesus! You reapply the bandage. You recover 10 HP. Oh, I'm dead. Well, saw that coming. <laughs> oh, my God. You cannot give up just yet. I can and will. <laughs> Chirp, stay determined. Well, that went from 0 to 100 real fast. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go through, uh... Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is where the cutscene is. Alright, so... I'm gonna go get, a like, a shit ton of items. Then I'm gonna come back, and I'll do one more attempt before I end the episode. Notice I called it an attempt, because I will fail. This boss is ridiculous. All right, we're back. We're back and ready to die yet again. Yeah, I went through and I bought, uh, I bought more. I bought a bunch of crab apples. Bunch of crab apples. Okay, so, all right. Whew, okay, doing a little better, a little better. I can't tell if it's easier with the D-pad or the, uh, or the thumbstick, but either way, I'm gonna die a lot. Quite a bit. Okay, a little easier with the thumbstick all of a sudden. Interesting. Jesus. There's too many! There's too goddamn many! How does do? Alright, if I... Okay, these aren't too bad. So if I can just dodge these, I might make it. Might. That's a big might. Oh boy. 1281. Not bad, not bad. Okay, just find that sweet spot. There we go. Whew! I guarantee you, like, the, the, Toby Fox must have designed that, that attack to be extremely easy to dodge just for this, because... Oh my god, man. Undyne's ridiculous. Ah, really? Okay, that one's on me. That one's on me. My finger slipped. I'm a stupid. I'm a big dumb. Yeesh. Alright, astronaut food? 21, okay, that's not terrible, I guess. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, forgot about the yellows. Oh no! Oh, this one's new. Alright. Okay, that, that one wasn't terrible. A little visually confusing for me, but... Shit! Right as I said, it was... Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're right there. I'll do one more. One more. Just one. <laughs> one more, and then I'll inevitably end the episode on failure. Alright, let's skip through this. Yeah, that was a loss. Damn it! <laughs> My health was too low. There's no way I'd survive. Oh, God. 
Oh, man. So, this one boss fight is going to... <sighs> oh, god damn you, Toby Fox. Damn you! Okay. So, this single boss fight is going to require its own video. Wow. <laughs> I watched people play it, and I almost laughed. I was like, oh, God, I can do that. It's just like an easy game of DDR. But then you're doing it, and you're like, my brain can't process all of this shit at once. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was ridiculous. But, as I've always said, my favorite part of any video game is the boss fights. Always the boss fights, and this is why. I like, I like having something to work towards, to perfect, just to get it, just to fucking get it down. And eventually, like, beat them up like they're nothing. It's what I do with Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, and it's what I'm gonna do here. Along with a whole bunch of other bosses, that was just the first one that came to mind. I think that was the first one I actually, like, religiously practiced. But, um... God damn, Undyne's tough. She got that determination. Alright guys, with that tragic defeat behind us, and a shit ton more ahead of us, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one where I'm gonna try my damnedest to beat Undyne. I'm gonna spend like a two hour recording trying it, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh god. I'll see you guys then. Well, at least the fireflies are comforting. <laughs>